could be much more and had much more. I'm not I'm not sad about it. It's a good score. I don't remember the the exact exact number, but I think it was over 50. I mean, after practices, I stay for some shooting and I try my best. Uh, there are some drills that you need to make as many shots as you can in a row without missing. And then when you miss one shot, you move, move to another spot and, and that's it. So there's just some drills that you do extra by yourself and that's it. After every practice, I try to stay to, to do my shots. And I would say just not too many, maybe 200 makes and that, that's it. And just to work on my shot a little bit. Also not, actually, during the summer I tried to do something different uh, than basketball. Like last summer, last summer I tried Muay Thai, uh, it was, was really fun. Yeah, it's a little bit different, but it's fun. Uh, it helps a lot for your footwork, and it's just something different than basketball, so it's not always stuck in your head all 12 months. For sure, I did more shooting and I worked individually with coaches, but you have to try something different. I would say so, yeah. I mean, I'm not only a shooter, I can do many things, but I guess many people consider me as a shooter and it just sticks to me right now. I would say so, and actually most of the shooters come from one city which is called Kleitada. I don't know why it is like that, but people have been saying this for years and actually it's true. There's a lot of shooters, and especially from that city. I would say it doesn't even matter how, how you shoot, it just has to be the same every time. And if you're consistent with it and you feel comfortable and you're making your shots, then that's it, that's your shot. And if it works, why well, you should change it. At the end of the day, it just matters if, it, if the ball goes in the hole, that's it. He's a great mentor in the team. He knows a lot and he's a really funny guy. Everybody loves him. And for sure for me, uh, even before coming to the team, I knew that he was going to be there. So I was really happy about it because he's one of the greatest shooters in, in Spain's history. I mean, it's a great thing for me. I can learn from him for sure. I mean, for me, he's not only a shooter, he was all around player. And actually, he was one of the, I would say, key reasons why I came to Bilbao, because I knew we were, uh, we played in kind of similar position and he has a lot of experience and I wanted to learn from him and he's helping me a lot. So that's a great thing too. It just started as a joke. I mean, uh, my fiance, she was drinking some tea and she asked if I wanted some. And I was like, yeah, but let me try something. I just took the tea bag and I was trying to throw it in and she said, let's make a video out of it. I was like, okay, cool. I just do it and that's it. I mean, it was, it was really fun. We, we were surprised that I made it. Plus the, the thing on top of the tea bag even went outside, so that's great. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of all those TikToks and stuff like that. I mean, I like to watch them, but I would never consider doing them. But no, except the except of this, I didn't do nothing. I stopped my career at my peak. So.